Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. So, uh, basically I've decided I'm going to try that bug again because I want to, mostly. I mean, I don't mind messing around with glitches and it's a bit of fun for me, so... I don't know if I've tried it before, but I've seen that it works and I think what I did wrong is that when I chucked the uh, Poké Doll, it was thrown to uh... uh no, I threw it to a standard Pokémon instead of the Marowak. Because the Marowak only spawns when you get to the top. Which means I'm going to have to ignore Pokémon for a bit. But... yeah, it's okay. Basically, Ghastly is the only thing you can really catch in there. Okay, there's Ghastly, Haunter, and Marowak, and no, Cubones. I mean, I'm not really that bothered about catching the Cubone. To be fair, I need one to get 151, but there's going to be a long preparation stream at some point where I, uh... Okay, there's going to be a long preparation stream in which I'm going to be uh, getting the other two starters. So I've got to get myself a Bulbasaur. Oh no, I've got a Bulbasaur. I've got to get myself a Charmander and a Squirtle. And I have to get another, a minimum, two Eevees. Which I'm not going to complain about. I'm going to have three Eevees because I like Eevees. You saw what happened when I got my Eevee out last time. So, yeah, so I'm basically going to do that. I think I'm going to take my Eevee to the Elite Four. I might train it, I don't know. I haven't really decided my final team yet. Basically, I know Mew and Dragonite are in it, but that's it. I mean, hopefully Venusaur will be in it, but we're not going to have the up two starters. Don't know about Legendaries. I'll decide when I get there. No, we could have been sort of a cut. Who am I going to make Suffo surf? Do I do the old Gen 1 nonsense and get a surfing Nidoking? Because then I can give strength and surf to Nidoking. That way I have a Nidoking. It's my playthrough, and if I want to mess around, I will. I mean, considering the fact I have a Mew, I'm definitely not opposed to messing around. Did I kill a uh, heal? Yes, I did. So this is very much Mew's place to fight because everything he is ghost type. But also turning off the self scope doesn't eliminate random encounters, it just makes them this. Ghost appeared. Darn, ghost can't be ID'd. That one is a ghastly. Cubones only appear in one place around here. That the uh, Marowak is level 30 odd. But I can't fight that ghost anyway, so. This is gonna be my slowest level in the section, of course. And I'm gonna have to return several times to the Pokemon Center going up. Actually, no, because there's a healing point halfway up. Again, there's that. Oh look, a ghost that can be identified with the Pokedex. Only attack that's effective. Sorry, now metronome is sort of effective. It might work, it might not. We don't know. I 
think that Mew learned Psybeam at some point, but, like, I, I can't be quote. oh, don't quote me on that, because Mew's not supposed to be in the game. So I may have just skipped off the level when Mew learns it. I don't know. Nobody does. Anyway, on the level of uh, on the scale of toughness, this place is not high. That's ghastly. One just started like level 25. Who shall join us? <laughs> just go off the end of my vocal range a bit. If it can, I can go much higher, but it's a choice thing. Okay, glad you're not possessed any. That might be a haunter. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but that might be actually be a haunter. Hello? Yeah, this place is so annoying. They put a poke they put a Pokemon Center halfway up. What's it, Pokestop? That's the wrong game. <laughs> oh no. Hey, buddy. See, Wanta. Does nothing. Mew is confused. Mew remembered that it is a psychic type and used psychic. Because this is Gen 1, the opponent died. Considering there was a ghost, its death was a surprise to all involved. Yeah, I never realised what that did when I was a kid, so I actually went back to the Pokemon Centre. Hello, unidentified ghost. You're definitely a oh, you're definitely a ghastly. Zombies! Sorry about the shoulder. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's a good way to distract someone, point and shout zombies, but... Mm, close, but no. Not this time. I believe I've previously proven why you don't fight the ghosts that you encounter as you're going up. Your Pokemon's just too scared and won't do anything. My impression of what they said. The idea of uh, not having this, or the idea of the ghost is that you can't actually win. It's basically a go get the self scope mechanic. It blocks progress because you have to go to the top of here to rescue Mr. Fuji, I think. I can't remember what his name is, but there's a guy at the top who uh, gives you the Poké Flute, and that allows you access to, um... Violet City, down the bottom, I think it is. 
which then allows you to get strength and surf and explore the rest of the world unhindered. But I'm currently blocked by Snorlaxes. So they did a good job. I mean, most of the things I'm taking advantage of, you are not in normal course of play going to do any of the glitches that I've done, which they're fine. Even like the legendary ones that everyone who played Gen 1 knows, they're just not something that you'd know, or not something that you'd run into by accident. I'm thinking at the end of this, I'm just going to do a short, oh no, the, at the end of like the, the entire series of playing Pokemon Blue, for Gen 1. I'm going to go and just do the glitches that I haven't shown off. You know, the ones that permanently mess up your game and stuff like that. Just don't save, it doesn't mess up your game, it's fine. But the ones that everyone knew about, the effects of them, everything else. And how much faster it makes playing the screen. But even with those, like, you wouldn't encounter them while you're just standard playing, you'd need someone to tell you about it. And then, like, it, I believe I heard it in a magazine, and, you know, everyone else hears it from somewhere, and it spreads around, so we know about them, but it's not something you're gonna do. It's like the one I'm trying out for the top of this tower. <laughs> I mean, I've played this game for hundreds of hours. Not once did I think of it. Oh yeah, I have to get... I think I have the helix, don't I? For the sake of memes, I took the helix, which means I'm gonna have to get myself a Kabuto as well. Now, you can just get all of these Pokémon from Stadium, and considering that the... Well, I'm gonna have to call it what it is, it's an emulator. Be gone, intruders! Okay, yeah, the Marowak's level 13. Okay, you can't catch this Marowak, you have to defeat it. So, um... Let's see if this works. Okay, here's the toy. Here's the toy. Go away. The ghost... The ghost was the restless soul of Cubone's mother. The mother's soul was claimed to be departed to the afterlife. Yeah, you had to go get the Sylph Scope in order to identify it as a Marowak, which means I now don't have power Marowak in... Theoretically, I don't have Marowak in my Pokedex. Let's check. I can't remember where Marowak was. Keep on Marowak. I have never seen a Marowak. That's interesting. The only way I can be at this point, though, is to have seen a Marowak, so I guess I just added it. <laughs> interesting. So, yeah, here are the source of the trouble and the people who killed Cubone's mother. What do you want? Why are you here? Revenge. Revenge. A Zubat, you say? Well, you're not a ghost type. Go on. Oh, Mew. Oh, if this were Gen 2, that would really have hurt, because I'd be in a dark type move. One generation too early. 
tell you what, let Pikachu have some fun. If you're just gonna send birds at me. Thunder Shark. You see how powerful Mew is now? <laughs> just compare the two of them. Super effective versus not very effective. Could at least the attack on Pikachu have not been very effective? Pikachu, I should favor me. Please don't do, do this. Thank you. Good Pikachu. Oh my, what the? <laughs> um, that's that. Oh, it, it does look like a gold bat. Very angry, squinty gold bat, but it is a gold bat. Thank you, Pikachu. You did a good job. I'm not going to forget this, Leaves. Bye. I have no doubt the next time I encounter Team Rocket they're going to be even more angry and I don't know. Does this mean this is just gonna be a ghost? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna have to leave anyway to catch Cubone. Yeah, there's one place you can catch Cubones. It's here. So nope. Escape rope. What do you mean I left my escape rope in the, in the Poké Center? <sighs> so yeah, that's one interesting glitch. I didn't... I didn't expect Marowak to be in the Pokédex. That's... Again, when you're programming making assumptions, you will just add things to the Pokédex that aren't supposed to be there occasionally. Because you can't get out of that fight any other way. But yes, that does mean all my selling stuff to Team Rocket was stupid. I could have just bought a doll and gone down, got all the trainers on the way. I know, you're a big scary ghost. As you can see by my ghost impression, I am not a big scary ghost. No would I make a very good one. Ah. I sat in the wrong position for a bit too long and my foot's gone numb. So I got pins and needles now. nothing there to really threaten me anymore. I'm just going to have to ignore some of the Pokemon on the way up. So yeah, this is just going to be Ghastly's and Haunter's going up. I've caught a Ghastly now, so I'm not going to bother catching either of them, because one's the evolution of the other. But if I see... if I see a Cubone... 
You know what I said, Hunter's level 25. Bye, Hunter. So yeah, you've got to throw the Poké Doll at the right Pokémon, not just any old, which makes sense for a glitch, right? Hey, Ghastly. I should have made when I was younger. <laughs> Just game by player for the GameCube. Should have done it. But I don't know, you get much better colour in Gen 1 like this. Because I mean, this game literally is green, uh, green, lighter green, and black. And all of this has been made from those three colours. I think there may be another shade of grey, but... Okay, are, are you just gonna swarm me? Because there's, there's no shinies in Gen 1, so I don't care how many of you appear. Slap the ghost away. It's fine. It's a ghost. You won't feel it. And I know, I could just use three pals and they'd never come near me, but it's a fun map. So I'm going to have to draw the line at level 35 for me leveling, then I'm going to have to start using something else because this advantage it's game is silly. And the amount of ghastlies I'm encountering is just ghastly. No. Okay. Puns were never good to start with. Fine. Last one. Yeah, not like it stood a chance. <sighs> Hello, rest of Team Rocket. This old guy came and complained about his harming useless Pokemon. We're taking it over. What? Your sentence makes no sense, sir. I will defeat you for it. Oh, and, and the evil, yeah. We gotta deal with the evil too, I guess, but... You make no grammatical sense. Sure, let's try to drowse you with something unpleasant. It's a slight level advantage. Ooh, will I take that? Ooh, 26 damage. That's with a one level advantage, but this is the first three evolutions, and Dratini suck. To be fair, Dragonites aren't that good either, so... Sorry to the Dragonite fans, but stat-wise, they're okay.
They're okay, but the amount of effort you have to put in to get one is far too much. Also, on the internet, so I have to say it nice. <sighs> Pokemon are really good for making money. No. Oh, wait. Hmm? Biggest money making franchise in history. Shut up. <sighs> they may not be the biggest money making franchise in history, but heck, they're pretty damn big. A Zubat, you say? Yeah, I was nice on the last one. Goodbye. A Rattata, you say? Pidgeotto, I think you can take a small rodent. Rattata did nothing. Oh, I was hoping it'd use Quick Attack and Sacrifice its second go. <laughs> It'd've been funnier. Right over for Big Rodent. Oh, this one's smart. Or picked a random move, you never know. I'll say smart, that is twice in a row, and it also moved its type of thing to the second move. But that's pretty smart, I'll give it that. Pikachu, I imagine you share my dislike of Zubats by now. And yeah, I am changing the Pokemon far more than normal, but... There's a point to this. <sighs> You're not getting away with this. I think I just did, didn't I? Sucker. Oh, it is Mr. Fuji. I was right. Hey, you came to save me. Uh, thank you, but I came here of my own free will. I came to calm the soul of, Cub soul of Cubone's mother. I think Marowak's spirit is gone, or to the afterlife. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon House at the foot of this tower. Bugger. Hello. Hey, um, your Pokedex quest may fail without the love of your Pokemon. I think this may help you in your quest. I received a pocket flute. Oh. oh, that's why. Okay, upon hearing it, sleeping Pokemon will wake. Or spring awake. It works on all sleeping Pokemon. It really does. Right. So yeah, we... Oh wait, no. Heal first, heal first, heal first, heal first. So yeah, I didn't see a uh, keybone. So I'll have to come back later, try again. slightly wonky. My head feels like it's been on slant like that for a while. So I'm just like, what? My monitor was on slant like that. The fact that I just had my bike taken off me after like one bar, but <laughs> like, 
ever in this game dismounts you. Every battle... Actually, no, sorry. Pokemon battle stones. I think the only place that leaves you on your bike permanently and properly is the bike section on the other side. I have two options to do this. I'm going the hard way. The sleeping Pokemon blocks your way, as you'd imagine. Oh wow, that did not go in right. I think it's Violet City. I'm going to call it Violet City if I'm wrong. Whoops. So yeah, I have to get past this beastie, so it's sleeping. Hey. Snorlax woke up. It attacked in a grumpy rage. It's okay, I can take that. Did I save before? Oh no, I didn't save before, did I? Special increased. Only two of these in the world. Oh, well, that makes my life easier. One. It's specials resistance to special moves as well, so two. Three. If you use rest, I will throw a Pokeball at you so hard. Again the ball. Down a B. Doesn't work. Ow. Oh, sorry, no, it thought it was dangerous. New, po new Pokedex data will be added for Snorlax. Snorlax, sleeping Pokemon. Weighs just over 1,000 pounds. Good luck carrying it. <laughs> Very lazy, just eats and sleeps. Mm, as if its round bulk builds, it becomes steadily more slothful. So yeah, that was the most dangerous thing on this route. Now, because of just how stupidly far some Pokémon are... Are we keeping Eevee is the question. You have seen my attitude towards Eevees. It's an electric trainer. Okay. Yeah, this is why I needed to get Mew from the front. Because we're gonna be uh, leveled by what we're encountering. Oh, I'm so glad that missed. Wow, go Pikachu! I'm not complaining, I don't want to hear that attack. Go on Pikachu, level up! Okay, well, there's only like... There's only like four electric Pokemon in this. Sorry. It is. 
Pikachu, Raichu. Uh, it's Elect uh, Magnemite, Magneton, Electrode, and Voltorb. And Zapdos, sorry. I think that's all the electrics in Gen 1, so they don't have much choice when it comes to this. Yeah, but you're just gonna use Sonic Boom again, which is fixed damage. Fishing Guru's brother. They simply love fishing. Do you like fishing? Sure, why not? It's okay. Grand! First, I'll take this one. Okay. Super Rod. Which is the best rod in the game, despite the fact that it's, it's the second one that you get. It's the second rod you get because the great rod or the good rod is the third. And that only catches mediocre Pokemon. Don't know why. That's how I'd have done it. To be fair, I should be using Fly. I probably missed one on the electric types, but there really aren't that many Pokemon in Gen 1. So like what we have for Psychics, it's just... Wow, I forgot about the city looks. Fishing rod, it's a surprise when you get a fish. And that is a crabby. And, a, you know, wouldn't surprise anyone, but it's what it is. Will it, will it take a hit? It can take a hit. If I'd gone for an electric, it'd have died instantly. So. Done it a little bit. Okay, now I can eat more than a Pokeball. Do I even need down a B for this one? Crabby, the River Crab Pokemon. Its pincers are not only powerful weapons, they are used for balance while it's walking sideways. Okay, the glitch is a lesson annoying on this background, so... I'll fish here instead. I usually do it over there. Screw you. Fish properly. We are at the sea. Get a nibble. Well, I'm unimpressed. Oh wait, no. We're gonna go up and to...
Celadon? Celadon, yeah. Okay. It took me that long to remember a town name. So we gotta go to Celadon then. I mean, look, I'm gonna catch the stuff that's in water. I may as well go for the uh, muck approach. Or at least attempt to get the grimer. Also, the title is more or less a goal than the actual thing. And what I'm actually doing. Just get in. Okay, now I understand why it was a surprise to catch something. Gen 1 does not like fishing. I know as a fact you can fact you can catch stuff here. Don't lie to me. Told you. And yes, that's the least relaxed fishing I have ever done. What are you doing here? Slowpoke. Okay, Slowpoke, this is something that you don't like. There you go. Not exactly smart enough, but... See? Slowpoke, the dopey Pokemon. Incredibly slow and dopey, it takes five seconds for it to feel pain when under attack. That isn't even what I came here for. Try again. It would be nice if I could relax while doing this. Let's get like Zelda style fishing going. This is one of the only ways to catch water Pokemon. <sighs> Pikachu, go to town. It's fine. Level 1 evolution is not what I'm going for anyway. Big Red throw a Pokeball in, like on a rope, just like, psh, psh, caught something. I do not remember it taking this long when I was a kid. I'm more impatient now. Okay, I don't know why, maybe you only get it in Surf, but this is where you get Grimers. It's where you're supposed to get Grimers. So yeah, I've missed several Pokemon along the way. I think I'm just going to go for them.
I mean, I don't know if I've even seen one yet, so... Um, there isn't a search. Okay, Gen 1 doesn't have a search, so we're looking for Doduo. Yeah, there was a second there where I was like... I oh, know you can only get them from there. Grimer, I know where they come from. Ponyta aren't this gen aren't this version. Oh! Okay, no, they are here. I can get a unicorn in this gen. Okay, we know Dota was later on, right? Which means I haven't seen one yet. Okay, I hope they're in this version. Well, why not want to look a gift horse in the mouth? I asked for one, one has turned up. Let's not kill it. I mean, Nintendo are known for the dislike of emulation, and technically, that's not a Game Boy. It is running. It is running a proper Game Boy game on Nintendo made hardware, <laughs> but it's not Game Boy. But yeah, they only made one game. Sorry, six games compatible with this one. Okay, sorry. Daduo, the tiny bird Pokemon. Oh, oh, try that again. Daduo, the twin bird Pokemon, a bird that makes makes up for its poor flying with its fast feed, fast foot speed, leaves giant footprints. Nope. And that's the only new Pokemon there. There is a second Snorlax just there that I'm ignoring. Why did I remember Ponytas being there? Is it like a Gen 2 thing? Gen 2 you get Johto and Kanto in the same game. Maybe it's got bigger ROM files for the second one. I don't know. So now, let's see if we can get a Vulpex. You are not a Vulpex. You are a Pigeon. You're now a glowing pigeon. You're now a gone pigeon. Hi. Yeah, okay, that wasn't funny. It was supposed to be, but it wasn't. <laughs> okay, Meowth, you're adorable, but... Here's some electrocution. I, I don't blame you. Come on, Vulpix. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to go for Cubone yet. That's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> and I don't want to do that yet. Open and drink before you try drinking. Coins scattered everywhere, you're just throwing money at me, okay? Does that mean that it's like sponsored by Meowth? I mean, it is throwing money at me, right? seen a Vulpix yet. I really should pay more attention when I'm in the Pokedex to what I've actually seen. 
I know it's next to Growlithe, and I know I've seen Growlithe, so... Let's check if I actually got the right place. Because I know this is where you get Growlithe. Yep, it's one of the two places. Okay, one of the three, because there's the uh, Pokemon house down the bottom. You're not a Felpix. This is not going to end well for Pikachu. very badly for Pikachu. Oh! Okay, that's nasty on my fault. Come on, Pikachu, break out! Okay. Pikachu loses. Time for an epic rap battle. Apologizing for my bad jokes. I, sh I should, but I know I apologize then, so I'm not apologizing. It's not the best line. Yes, meow. Okay, we'll get you off 69 HP eventually. Or encounter a uh, or encounter a Vulpix. Whichever. We need a dragon here, damn it. Yes, where you are a very nice Bell Sprout, you are not a Vulpix. Say I'm not amused. I'll sprout. I mean, it's just trying to survive. It, it can't just run away because it doesn't have that option. So I shouldn't be so mean. But also, you poisoned me. You walking plant. It, it is walking plant, so I don't feel so bad about it. Pokemon knows Ice Beam. Hey look, it's a load of enemies that know the counter to the only tactic I've never worked out the counter to. I think I'm not like a Pokemon researcher or anything. Oh. Yeah, I'm not just that person you don't want on an expedition with you. Looking for rare stuff, because I will just get it wrong. It's fine. I 
this with, like, Growlithe and Vulpix. I mean, Growlithe's I could never get rid of around here. They were always there, I guess. That, in fact, the other field is the common place to find Vulpix, and this is a rare Growlithe or rare Vulpix encounter. So maybe if I just go across to the other one. In fact, I zoned the music had to start and stop again despite playing the same song. A Pokemon are fighting fit. I hope to see you again. I'm very much inclined to want to see you all again. Don't worry. Thank you for the new gambler. I don't think there's much level difference between this grass and that grass. But yeah, uh, Gen 1 you have to have a uh, Java, Java Gem mule. The mule's just the unfortunate Pokemon that gets dumped with all the HMs. You can't unlearn them. At all, there's no way. So once it's learned, that is a wasted attack. So there's always some useless junk ass Pokemon. Hey, Vulpix! There's always some junk Pokemon that you don't care about at the end. Pikachu from my team. Right. Slightly injure it only. Do you understand? <laughs> That's hard to be annoyed the second time. <laughs> I should have looked up the exact quote from the search for Spark. <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't just like shoot Pikachu for uh, like getting a lucky hit, but I could have at least gone with the proper line for on the second attempt. This battle is sponsored by Meow. I think I have to say it when they're giving me money. It's only 36 coins. So... Yeah, to be fair, not actually sponsored by Pokemon, but it is throwing money at me, and I wanted to make the joke. And now I'll never see a Vulpix again. Thank you, Pikachu. Come on, Vulpix. You know you want to turn up. Come on. Sorry, that, that, that's horses. I'm pigeons, apparently.
Also tracks pigeons. Swift pigeons, but still pigeons. It's not just because it's going around killing everyone. Mm, shouldn't joke about sponsorship, but... Ooh, 40, it's gone up. I, I guess the last time it threw money at me went well. Pikachu killed both of them. Right. Pikachu. You ain't doing squats. That's fine. It's less fine, but at least it's an intelligent complex. I'm happy with that. I'm less happy with that. That's fine. Okay, I'm not taking that chance. Pokeball, go! Well, that was pretty close. We're okay. We can take that beating. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Do -do 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 -do. Got it! <laughs> New Pokedex data will be added for Vulpix. Vulpix, the fox Pokemon. At the time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from the tips, it grows older. No. And I am officially done there. I do not have to come back. We don't have to do that again. So I'm just going to go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. Then that's it for today. Pokemon. Okay, so thanks for coming. Hope you've enjoyed my Pokemon based nonsense, and see you next time. Bye!